Tools and methodology are always part of the 3D printing game. Well, join me today as I unbox a set of tools that may just help speed up getting through your models and getting them finished. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As I said, we are looking at a specific tool set that was sent to me from works.com to give a test on taking a look and see if, if this will speed up the process. So we're gonna unbox those tools today and then we'll, in a few weeks, I'll do a follow-up video of the tool sets, but looking at what's in the tools and how they work, a lot of these tools I can already tell you will speed up your post finishing process and also getting your models painted and finished up. So what I wanna do is I wanna get them out of the box so you guys can see it's a very small kit, but there are six tools in here to explore. And that's really important to kind of look at because this is different tools that will fit different jobs, but also gives a significant level of portability. Portability is important when you're working with your 3D prints, because you know, you're know you working with plastic and stuff like that. So if we're working, for example, like a rotary tool or a sander, we may not want to be inside. We may want to just go outside and do this, because uh, you know burnt plastic stinks. Eh. Or you know dust may fly and stuff like that, and you want to go take this out to your garage and work. And this little box right here, is a set of tools that will help us do just that. And we're gonna unbox this here just in a few moments. But before we do that, if you enjoy what you see on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join us, there's all kinds of videos, tools, tips, tricks, 3D printing, all that fun stuff to get you moving forward from starting your model to finishing it. That's what we're after here. So if you liked the video today, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Definitely let us know it was something you enjoyed. And also, go out and consider joining our Patreon as we are trying to get new tools, different things, and keep advancing and showing off cool things that you can get and work with with 3D printing. And as always, if you're interested in this set, there will be a link down in the description that is my Amazon affiliate link. I'd appreciate the help because that funding and stuff does help keep us going. So with all that done and out of the way, let's get this guy out of the box. All right, so we got the tools, we got the box. This is a pretty heavy box. It's kind of small, as you guys can see, just about that big. But this is jam-packed with cool tools to help us do anything with the models. So let's get this open. You guys can see I already popped it open. And of course, it's going to be a box within a box. Ah. And specifically, this is the large set. This is their Maker X kit and it has a lot of cool things that can definitely help us out. Now in the kit, we have a heat gun, a light, a cutter, a Dremel tool, an airbrush, and they all function off the 20 volt Worker X batteries, which to me is pretty darn cool. And I thought I had cut the tape and apparently I didn't, so we need an extra tool because you are unboxing this at the same time I get to see it. But I already looked at it and said, yes, this set would be awesome for helping do the work. So let's get it unboxed. Of course, we've got the manual. We've got the Maker X uh, cordless wood and metal crafter tool. We've got the USB light that comes with the kit that I just tore up. <laughs> All right. Eh, it's just a thing, but it's just a USB light that you can plug in and get more light onto your projects. I'm gonna throw that trash on the floor. Then we've got the battery charger for the 20 volt battery. And the cool thing is, these are the standard cool 20 volt battery for the Maker X tools. So really, these may be the six hobby style tools, but you can go up to the standard drills and cutters and stuff that WorkX offers. So it's really cool that this is a functionality of this tool set. We're gonna get a look at the battery here. So it's the 20, 20 volt max uh, power share battery. And it's just a normal battery that you would see on normal, any drill, vibration tool, all those kind of cutters. So here is the handheld cutter, um, angle grinder that they offer in the kit. Here is the heat gun, which to me, this looks awesome. It's really small means I can get into weird areas of the model where my big heat gun, I would probably wind up melting something. So definitely seems more controllable and definitely better to work in this environment. Now this set is the six piece set. If you go look at the webpage that comes with dual batteries. So basically this is a pretty much a shop starter set. This set runs about $300, but a lot of advantage. Airbrush, portable airbrush. 
And then we've got the Dremel type tool, the rotary tool, which it also comes with a wide set of bits, discs, sanders, drums, and various types of head. And those pink stone ones are the ones that really I'm after for 3D prints um, and working with resin to nick up the models or smooth them out. Um, you guys will hopefully see coming up here in some of the upcoming videos, uh, some of these models, I will actually inflict war damage on them and stuff like that. And here is the coup de gras, the most important piece. This is the adapter. And of course they give you a really cool shot bag. So looking at this, this is the part that makes this whole thing function. Because what it does is basically this is a power pack converter for all these items. So those tools will plug into this. This plugs right into the battery and gives you a portable six tool tool shop that is meant for working on finer, more delicate objects, not the heavy duty shop tools that we see a lot of times out there. So basically, I now can just turn this on go outside, have my tool attached, airbrush, work with my soldering gun, heat gun, work with the Dremel. I'm not stuck to sitting in my shop getting nastiness everywhere. So a lot of versatility here. The bits are great. Of course, we got the most important books for the Matter X tools um, from Works. And the Dremel tool, of course, is a Dremel. Doesn't need much explanation. Um, I will do a further video on Dremel bits because some bits that the Dremels have look like they would work great on these plastic models and they're terrible. They're bad ideas. Some of them are great ideas and work really well. So be sticking around for that. The heat gun, like I said, um, this was one of the tools I was really interested in because, for example, you see behind me, I've got several small projects where the big heat gun just isn't going to be my friend. If you take a look at that, that is pretty darn awesome. And I love that it has a built-in thing so it will stick up off the desk, simple to plug back in there, and go to town. Uh, the Dremel, we'll pop him open, kind of get a size game for him. These are all 20 volt, which is pretty cool. The Dremel, that's a really nice size for a Dremel tool. Um, and just the fact that I can take it, plug it in, turn on my power, and then I have my speed control. And there it goes. And it's actually not a bad sound for a Dremel either. And when I'm done, grab hold, and pop out. So we've looked at the Dremel, we've looked at the heat gun, and they both have books in their boxes, but I'm going to set their boxes off to the side. We've got the angle grinder. This one was interesting to me because I'm curious to see how this tool would do. Not, it's going to do great on like wood and stuff like that, but how would it do with a cutting blade on a very low speed getting rid of uber thick support? Or say, for example, I wanted to cut a model in half to do like a sinking battleship or something like that. This little angle grinder. Um, now granted, they only sent me grinding bits and sanding bits, but a little bitty saw blade on there would probably do some pretty cool fine damage um, to creating holes in it. So definitely a tool I'm very interested in taking a look at. The soldering iron. Now this guy, it's, it's a soldering iron, but it's also, for example, a wood burner, depending on which bit that you put in it. So there's a variable set of bits in here, all the way from the standard needle to a thin flat. So say you have a seam and you want to connect it together and thin it of a 3D print. It all just depends on which bit that you put in there. Now wood burning and stuff like that, you know, that stuff tends to stink. So being able to pop that battery and take this whole little guy outside is pretty awesome. And that is for a soldering iron, having its own temperature gauge and everything on it, that is really, really awesome. So really looking forward to giving this work X one a tryout for this Maker X set. So I'm going to set that down on the floor. And then this one, this is the one I'm really going to be curious about and should have been on. 
because I've tried little airbrushes like this before and they haven't been great. They're underpowered a lot of times. My hope is that this Maker X1, this Work X1, is not underpowered and that because we're not storing a lithium ion battery in here along with a compressor. So I'm hoping this compressor is quite strong. And looking at the airbrush that they sent, that is a gorgeous looking airbrush. The needle's not bent and, well, that was a little loose, but that's okay. And they send a nice cleaning kit for it. So a lot of goodness in here for an air compressor. And I love that this looks like that is a quick release. So that guy just popped right in there. Let's kind of get a feel for its power. Because airbrushes, if the compressor's not powerful enough, that's a pretty good feel. Do some, because it's got no play in the trigger. There we go. I'm going to turn that up to full power. So for this would probably be really good for like a priming brush and stuff like that. But it does feel like it's using the two trigger action, which is cool. But I mean, I'm not limited to a power cord to go airbrushing. And the sound of it is not that bad. This is actually really nice and quiet compared to others. So rechargeable batteries, reusable tools. All in all, this is a great set for anybody that is really into modeling. Especially, I really like the feel of the Dremel tool. Um, for scarring and working on stuff. So this is actually a really awesome set. The light is definitely a bonus, but we get a great looking charger, a great set of tools, and honestly, in my opinion, a great set of tools that are meant for more of the miniature realm and working with projects like this. So airbrushes, heat guns, um, wood burners, Dremel, that's all right in line with what you'd want to have to start work, working with a model kit and working with your models to get into that post-op process. Whether you're cleaning up over a ridge or you're filling in gaps, these tools all can come in handy. Or for example, you're wanting to make something look scarred and damaged for a cosplay or something. So these tools look amazing. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to coming back and showing more of these tools and talking more about them after I've given them a real good using. And hopefully you'll see them in action on the table as we finish up some finish up some models. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the content. And we will see you guys in the next video.